Right, coming up, we have another question. This is a quadratic question, which is finding the x symmetry and the y intercept. So, first of all, they need to find p, which is this point. And since the axis of symmetry is 2.5, which means that p plus 3 divided by 2 equals to 2.5. So, nice and easy, we flip everything over. So, p would be equals to 2. And then B, you need to find the value of A. We've got another point here. So we have negative 6 equals to A times negative 2 times negative 3. All right, we substitute 0 and negative 6 to X and Y. So we have negative 6 equals to A6. So A should be negative 1. All right. Now this is the hard bit, which is the annoying bit here. So what we go to do next will be there is a line here, that's the tangent of it. Tangent means that discriminant equals to zero. We touch it once. So what we can do is that we need to find the x and y point too. And so first of all, fx is equals to rewrite it from the question, negative x minus two and x minus three. And then we have another equation here. So gx, the next one equals to the other one. So we have kx minus five equals to negative x minus two x minus 3. One of the reasons of that because we need to find their intersecting point, right? Therefore, it could be tangent, which is the x and y. So now we have kx minus 5 equals to negative x squared plus 5x minus 6. All right, rearranging it a little bit. So we have equals to x squared minus 5x minus kx minus, uh, plus plus 1. Alright, so I throw everything on one side to get all the positive things. So this is positive 2. Now, what we can do is like, we can get the discriminant because it's the touches, because the discriminant equals to 0. So, I need another page here. Yep, that's done. Alright, so, and then what next will be I will have the discriminant b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So k minus 5 all squared minus 4ac should be equals to 0 because it touches the line. So expand it a little bit, then I will have k squared minus two, uh, 10k minus 25 plus 25 minus Hold on. Right. Four equals to zero. So, and then rearrange a bit. Oh no, why would I do this? Stupid. So k minus five equal, my square minus four equals to zero. k minus five square equals to two. k minus five equals to plus or minus two. Four. All right, and so k should be equals to 3 or 7. Nice and easy. All right. All right, so that's how we get that done.